Hey everyone, excuse the hair, I just uh, stepped out of the shower a little while ago. Ah, fuck it, let's do a video of me doing maintenance. <laughs> I know, right? Judging by the title, you would probably have never thought this. This is not going to be the whole video, by the way. You would think before I would film I would actually do something, but no, I'm, too, I'm just that lazy. Um, so, uh, I haven't posted a video about me being a, a martial artist or anything like that. I'm going to the red with my volume. I hope I'm not killing you. <laughs> but, like, I am a martial artist, and recently I haven't been training too much considering I had a lot of I have a lot of work to do I have you know major 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 plans coming up soon uh, but I've been dabbling back you know back and forth and stuff like that now once I get more settled the more comfortable and stuff I'll be able to train a lot more to which I plan on doing but um one of the uh, fastest punches I've ever done, I literally took, you know, I took out a fly and crap like that, and I actually wanted to research reaction time of a fly, you know, and I'm not doing this as an ego boost or anything like that, but it seemed like the punch was rather quick, but I often, I, I rather, I always wanted to know how fast I can actually literally punch, and I don't have exactly the highest quality of a camera right now, um, it might be choppier for some people, it might be great for other people. Um, but I want, like, an interactive video. Um, I'm going to give you some time, like, a second or so to take out an actual stopwatch. And I want you guys to let me know what you clocked in at. That would be pretty fun, you know. And to let me know, it, you know, finally how fast a punch can be. Uh, might one of my punches can be. And, you know, I'm trying to work on speed. I'm trying to work at accuracy again. You know, so I think this be, you know, something interesting for us to uh, take part in. So, um, if you want, go for it. Um, I'm just gonna stand up to do this. Yes, I am wearing another My Little Pony shirt. <laughs> Three seconds and then my actual one that I want you guys to time. I'm sorry about that. Practice ones I'm doing right now. Just give me one second. Okay. That last one was the real one. I'm sorry about that. But I wanted to throw some practice ones. So, um, if y'all want to let me know, feel free to leave a comment of the time that you clock for one of them. <laughs> but yeah, um, updates to come. Uh, I just felt like that would be something fun for me to do and, you know, fun for y'all to watch, I guess, and interact with. Uh, but yeah, so this is Ben 22 Frogger and signing out. And if you were not impressed by my form or anything like that, it's a lazy night for me. And I'm not in actual confrontation right now. So, uh, actually, before I do that, might as well talk about, about my actual stance I usually use. Um, what you're going to see, what I normally do, uh, is what works best for me. Um, it allows maximum movement for me. Maximum flexibility for me. Um, just, you know, I've seen many other martial artists, Bruce Lee and a couple other teachers of mine, use it, and I figured implicating it in my practice and when I did, I actually found really good results with how my body was able to move with it. Uh, so, I mean, I'll show you how I actually can do it, or how I usually do it, rather, and I'll give you examples of how easy it is for me to move. I'm not going to throw any kicks or anything major, but I'm just going to show how it would be. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to take my shirt off so you can see but other than that, I'm not getting any more naked.
the engineer behind that movement and the m momentum of my hands like that is very close to kung fu almost. The idea is I have and have done this in na in actual fights too. When it comes down to moving like that and having that flexibility instead of being very tense with blocking. I've been able to absorb better impact of the feet or any or any punches that come towards me than when I used to keep really rigid and hard. This way a hand could absorb the impact of the kick and I can recover you know sort of recoil and explode back. So I mean that's just how I do how I've been doing it and it has been working for me and had worked for me before. Um but I learned a little bit here and there anyway. Um this has been over like 12 years of practice. I've done multiple different forms. Um but I learn a little bit more each day. So I mean like if anyone wants to comment and you know give any kind of like advice towards stance, feel free. Um but during the daytime when there's more light, more room too, I'll be outside instead. Uh, I'll show you completely like what my movements would look like, how I would do it. Because uh, literally, <laughs> like literally like five inches away from where my left foot was in frame, my bed was. So it's like I'm not going to throw a kick and like bang my foot into the corner of the bed and what have you. It's not really a large room <laughs> to be throwing kicks and stuff. But yeah, uh, hopefully this was an interesting video. Uh, feel free to give your feedback on it. Um, looking forward to you guys. But yeah, Spam22 Frocker. Finally, again, I get to say this. Signing out. <laughs>